The Ice Festival is our biggest fundraiser of the year. We use this event to raise money and awareness of ice climbing in our ice park and to keep the park uh, sustained and running every year. You can come here with your ropes, your tools, and start climbing at, at no cost. Uh, and that's thanks to our organization that raises money to keep the park open and free and available. Here in Uray, we see people uh, come to climb from all over the country, all over the world. Um, being very close to uh, Utah, the Salt Lake City area, we see a lot, in, and that's certainly known as kind of a climbing mecca itself. We see a lot of climbers in the Park City area and throughout Utah, and just share our love and our passion of winter sports. Well, the sport of ice climbing in around Uray, actually, uh, has been here since the early to mid-70s. Uh, a lot of the sports pioneers uh, used to come to URA because we were known sort of within that niche or that sport of being an extremely popular place, a great place to climb, some real classic, world classic climbs here. Um, the ice park sort of started from that origin with those pioneers. There were some natural climbs in this gorge. And then in about the early to mid-90s, a few um, enterprising individuals in URA suddenly realized that, gee, we could probably make a whole lot more ice in this park and make this a sport that's maybe a little bit more mainstream and uh, accessible to a number of people. Uh, so they got the URA Ice Park started, and uh, now it's grown into about a mile and a half long, basically outdoor climbing gym on ice with over 200 climbs. The sport's become extremely accessible. Um, it's safe. It's can be very easy to get into. It can be as extreme as you want it to be, uh, but if you want to come and, and try this out and not have it be some extreme crazy thing, it doesn't have to be. Uh, we're seeing families come and do this as well. It's not just a sport for macho X-game kind of guys, it's a sport for everyone.